do 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 Battery lessons with Tim. Meow. Hello, YouTube. So today we're gonna do some bowls. I'm gonna do two different styles of bowls, and I'm gonna give you a couple different ways to see how I'm shaping them. Um, special tools that you'll need for today that you might not have yet will be a green number one. This is a Cheryl Mud tool. The color is green. It's stiffer, and it's a shape number one. The other tool is a yellow zero. The yellow is a little softer than the green, and it is shape number zero. And you don't need to have a chamois, but bowls are one of the few things I use a chamois on. So I've got my chamois out here with me. Uh, what you're basically gonna do is pull a cylinder in a V-shape, and then push that V-shape into a bowl shape. It's so easy. Um, I've got a random chunk of clay, I believe, I believe, box isn't labeled, but it looks like B-Mix with Grog. All the centering stuff, guess what, is exactly the same. There is nothing different with centering for a bowl than any other, any other pot. The difference comes in with how we end up opening it. So we get it centered-ish. We're gonna open it up the same way, but we're not gonna flatten out the bottom, and I'm not gonna go quite as far down. Let it. Now I'm gonna pull up and out in a V shape. So I'm gonna get underneath there. I'm gonna pull up in a V, and I will do this in another view so you can see how it's coming out. But I'm not flattening out the bottom. And I'm not pulling straight up, and I'm not pulling like really flat out. I'm also leaving the top relatively thick. I don't want the top to get thin because as I shape it and stretch that lip out, it will get thinner itself. Okay, so we have a straight wall to the bottom. Ooh, I forgot a tool. We need a spongel. We need to get the water out of the bottom. Should look something like that. So there is, you can see there's a little well down there and that's okay. We've left it thick or thicker at the bottom to deal with that. So I'm gonna use my wooden knife on the outside. This is where the other view will come in handy. I'm gonna scrape the outside of my piece because I'm no longer going to Touch the outside. On a bowl this size, I'm gonna use a green rib. Now this is where it's gonna be hard to see because my hand will be in the way. But I'm going to put it in. Here, push off a little bit. I'm gonna put it in so that the bottom engages the side of the pot. So this point is kind of the middle. This engages, and then I'm gonna rotate that pressure out to engage more of the rib, and then I'm gonna slide up and out to shape the bowl. I've got my left hand supporting my right hand. Press down and engage, and I'm gonna lift the tool up so you can see where it's touching more. I'm pushing more here. This is engaging that bottom. It's cleaning up that curve in the bottom, and then you can see the less pressure out here. I'm gonna clean that off. I also wanna make sure that when I'm pushing, I'm pushing so that it's feathered. So I'm not jamming it in like this or even opposite that, opposite the feather, because it'll catch. And I'm gonna move that pressure up and out. And that makes a smooth bowl shape. And I would then take my chamois chamois the edge and cut it off. Removing a bowl is a little different than a cylinder. I'm gonna make sure I have four fingers that are clean. I'm gonna start against the wheel head and give a little twist and lift up. And that that is enough to pick up your piece without denting the bottom and whatnot. Another shape bowl, this would be harder, but for this shape it's fine. Um, I'm gonna turn it on its side so you can see the outside profile there. And then we're gonna 
we're set up. And we're going to do another one. All right, so we're going to do that same bowl. We're just going to do it from the side so you can see a little better what's going on. Again, centering is the same. Opening it up is the same. Except you leave it a little bit thicker at the bottom. And I do not flatten the bottom out. I'm gonna wet it inside and out, top to bottom. Start against the wheel head. Push underneath and lift that clay up and into the wall. Wet it. Do it again. Get that stuff down there up and in. From the outside, I can explain the knife and stuff a little better too. So to get a good even curve from lip to lip in the bottom of your piece, your clay needs to be either really even or tapered really evenly. So for me, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna run that, that line that I have on the outside of my bowl all the way to the wheel head. What that does is when I'm pushing on it, the gradient of my clay is going to taper some. So it'll be thicker at the bottom than it is at the top, but it's an even gradual thickness change. If I leave this down here, and this chunk is against the wheel head and pushing up against the pot. When I push down, that clay is going to push back up against the pot. And that's the biggest issue um, in making a potter's hump is that, that curve. I'm going to try to draw it here. Is that if your bowl goes like this, this little bump here is where that clay from underneath is pushing up. And that's no good. So we cut that and that goes away. Like instantaneously... You save all that stuff. So I'm gonna get the water out of the bottom again. Oh, I gotta scrape the slip off. I'm gonna scrape the slip off the outside, so I'm gonna use my metal rib because I'm not gonna to touch the outside after I use this rib. I wanna set the surface up so I don't have to do anything after shaping. Then from the inside, I'm gonna use my rib again. I'm gonna go down. You can watch the outside as I push down into the bottom here and I engage the rib, it'll come out a little bit. So now the inside is smooth. <clears throat> See that, that build up there at the bottom. I'm gonna rotate the pressure out. And then I'm gonna move up and out. And the bowl travels along with it. And then we could do something, I guess while we're at this camera angle, I can take my chamois, and I could hold this bowl at this shape, or I could change it some. I could pull the lip out a little bit. And that's just with the chamois pushing in between. And then cutting it off, this will be another view. I take the wire tool, run it underneath, scrape my hand off on my bucket so that my finger pads are nice and clean. I'm going to, if the bowl is in between here, I'm going to bring them together as well as close them. And a little twist and pop it off. Boop -ba -doo. And you put it on your board. All right, we'll cut this in half to show. And this is what I'm talking about in a clean, variation from thickness. It does get thicker in the bottom. Like that's, there's nothing wrong with that. What's gonna happen is this is gonna get trimmed to match the curve of the bowl on the outside and the inside. And it's just that little bit. I'd much, I would much rather have to trim a little bit off than to have Beep. a shitty looking bowl. So if this helps you keep a nice smooth curve to the inside of your bowl and then subsequently the outside of your bowl after you trim, then do that. If you can throw stiffer clay and not have to put that much in, then it's just less trimming. But don't sacrifice a thin pot just to get um, an ugly one. And then the last bowl we'll do is a wide shallow bowl or a wider shallow bowl. These are the bowls that my wife likes. I'm gonna kind of do a three quarter view here. 
These are the bowls that my wife likes the most. <coughs> Same kind of thing, except we're gonna stretch out the clay a little more at the beginning. So I'm gonna flatten it out a little bit further, making sure I press it down against the wheel head. And then when I open it, I'm gonna open it flatter. So I'm not opening it in much of a V. And then I'm gonna spread the clay out. And as I go out to the outside edge, I'm gonna lift up a little bit. So that this bottom isn't flat across. It comes up at an angle. I'm gonna go underneath here. And I'm gonna lift this up. And out a wee bit. Do one more pull. This one is gonna be hard to get with my knuckle. So I usually go, because I wanna get right underneath there. I'm gonna do that with my finger. Just like the other bowl, I'm gonna cut the skirt off. Scrape the slip off the outside. Get the water out of the bottom. And then shape it with the rib. Again, try to engage that rib from the outside to the middle. And then chamois it. We have our low shallow bowl without variation in the bottom. Um, no, those are it. This one you cannot pick up. Well, we could try, but it doesn't pick up well because the curve is so close to the bottom and it's wide and shallow. So typically I would cut it, leave it on the bat, and as soon as I can flip it over, I'd flip it over. But yeah, picking it up is just gonna do this, even if you're, even if you're, uh, you're decent. Well, we could have cut it in half, but it's too late now. You get the idea. Thanks for joining. If you've got any questions, post them in the comment section down below, and um, I'll try to get them as quick as I can. Okay, bye bye.